Hello everyone, um, I hope you're doing well. The reason for making this video, as it says in the title, is due to the recent events that have been happening in Mexico. This is a quick video. The next release on the channel is still in progress. Um, so uh, this week, there were events of violence against the population in the states of Jalisco and Guanajuato. The reason why I have not yet released the second part of the, of the story of El Mencho is because when I was about to release that video, rumors about his death began, began to circulate in, in the news. So I decided to wait for more concrete information to emerge about his current status. I mention this because there is speculation that the attacks against the population are due to the fact that two factions of the CJNG are disputing the leadership of the cartel because El Mencho is in poor health due to pancreatic problems which confirms that he is still alive um, These factions are led by Ricardo Ruiz Velasco aka the RR or double R um, Hugo Gonzalo Mendoza Gaitan, El Sapo and Audias Flores Silva, El Jardinero. Um, these facts are a way of sending a message to say, uh, look at me, I am here and I can take care of the organization when the Mencho dies. This is in addition to the lack of intervention by Mexican authorities when it comes to the CJNG. Um, El Cartel del Noreste has received strikes such as the capture of El Huevo Treviño. Um, the capture of Caro Quintero could be interpreted as a hit to the Sinaloa Cartel. Um, the Santa Rosa de Lima Cartel, whose presence is in Guanajuato and are natural enemies of the CJNG since they dispute the control of oil pipelines have been hit to the point of almost disappearing. But the CJNG has not received any major strikes in years. Um, the official version states that the attacks were due to a narco meeting held by the CJNG factions to negotiate the succession of El Mencho. <clears throat> the military mounted an operation to capture the big fish that attended, although they did not capture anyone important, and it is speculated that due to the intervention of the army, um, all hell broke loose. However, it is not necessary to be an expert to deduce the, re the real reason for the attacks on the population. Because if you reason a little and analyze the facts, um, the reason is simpler than all the official versions given by the government. Um, let's see. Um, the balance of material damage in Guadalajara is 14 cars burnt, um, one local business burnt, and in Guanajuato, uh, six road blockades, um, 29 independent businesses burnt. Um, 25 of which belonged to, to the chain of self-service stores OXO. 
for those who do not know, Oxo um, is a similar store like 7-Eleven. Um, if you notice, they only attack commercial places, which leads me and the majority of Mexicans who live the reality of this country to think that these riots are a settling of scores or or with the government for not uh, respecting the agreements they make with the CJNG or with the businessman who they want to force to pay the derecho de piso or extortion. Um, in my opinion, I think it is the second reason, because the business organization in Mexico have been uh, protesting uh, against the government for the lack of security and the events that occurred occurred this week. Um, Oxo is owned by FEMSA, which is the operator in Mexico of the red labeled black soda. Um, what may have happened was that the CJNG wanted to extort this company and the company refused, so its businesses and the people of Guanajuato and Jalisco paid the consequences. This was all I had to say, um, I did not want to say too much, although these topics could be talked about for many hours and not get to something concrete. Um, I hope you are well, uh, I thank everyone who has been commenting on the videos of the channel in these months of absence. Um, more than subscribers or likes, I love to read your comments on the videos I have up uploaded. Um, believe me, I read each one of them and I really appreciate the time you take to write. So um, take care, um, see you in the next video.